Mr Sensible. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first visit here, help yourself to a drink and make yourself comfy. Today, I have been trawling the internet to find something different, or well, supposedly different, or hopefully different. I came across a channel I've not seen before, Mr Truth. Mr Truth apparently has evidence that confirms that the Earth is flat and curveless. Well, Mr. Mr. Truth, why don't you show us what you've got? So recently, just a couple of days ago, I received a message on my Facebook page, a private message. And interestingly enough, this message was from a former. It's him again. It's, it's that bloody idiot from those online courses. I'm not going to put up with it. I'm not going to do it. I refuse. Um, apparently Mrs. Sensible has convinced me that I do want to do this. Um, well, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it slightly different. Yes. Because I'm not going to have him talking to me without me having the upper hand. Yeah, little man. <coughs> yes, go on in. You can spout your crap at us now. Let's go back to the beginning and see what you've got. So recently, just a couple of days ago, I received a message on my Facebook page, a private message. And interestingly enough, this message was from a former worker in a private airport in a certain country in Europe. I'm going to... Gonna... Hold on. A former worker in a certain country in Europe. So we don't know where he is, and we don't know what he is. Did he work in the Burger King franchise? Was he the car park attendant? It's not exactly a Top Gun pilot, is it? Go on. I'm gonna read the message. Uh, this is not invented. This is literally as I received it. Of course, I'm not gonna detail any names whatsoever because of for protecting this person that because this person is now living in a different place has a family you understand it's forbidden in this world if you want to say something which is true you're gonna get you know bombed and you know uh, shown with a finger bombed i think i've got the freedom of speech to say that you're an idiot if the earth was flat and i knew it and everyone was being lied to i could just tell people I'd be an internet sensation. I, I'd be worth millions if I've got that evidence. But I, I wouldn't be expecting to be bombed. Not really. That seems a little excessive. So, yeah, just for the respect. Uh, thank you very much for that person if they watch my channel in English and if they can see this. If not, at least um, I'm so glad. I'm so happy that I received this message. So this message was like this. It's very short. So um, I lived in, this is what they told me. I lived in Spain for eight years and I worked in a private air airport. So they worked in a private airport. Uh, this is what I know, why I know that the earth is flat. Um, there's lots of people that work in airports, private or otherwise. Just because you work in the airport doesn't mean you know anything about the shape of the earth. Only the pilots, I guess. Um, would have direct experience. As I said, the, the guy who collects the, the money from the car park, what, what the hell would he know? Go on then. Meaning that the earth has no curvature. I have many pilot friends, many pilot friends. Between us, the people who work in the airports and on the planes, we can chat and talk and it is cl crystal clear that the earth is flat with no curvature. And why? Why is it crystal clear? Has he been shown photographs by pilots saying, ha ha, look at this, the earth is flat. They don't want you to know. In which case, where are those photographs? Or is it just <sighs> some session in a bar? Perhaps some pilots trying to wind up Johnny No Mates, make him think that the earth is flat. He's bought it and he's given it to you and you've bought it. I don't know but there's not really any evidence yet. I'm still waiting for this to be confirmed. And 
that chemtrails exist. Chemtrails, these things that they put in planes. Hold on. So, at an ordinary little private airport, there's, there's I don't know, equipment for producing chemtrails? Those things that, that are totally nonsensical? Those things that for which there is no evidence other than um, uneducated people looking up at the sky, seeing contrails and say, oh, oh, they're dosing chemicals. Oh, they want to control us. Well, if I was going to dose chemicals, I would either belch it out of a chimney because that would be a lot easier and also the chemicals would be a lot nearer to everyone. Or perhaps I would dose it in the water. What, why the hell would you go up, you know, 20,000, 30,000 feet to spray it? Not very effective. By the time it reaches ground level, it's who knows where. And they, they would also be breathing it in, wouldn't they? A bit stupid, really. But, they have continued like this, but due to fear of losing your job, you must shut up. And hold on, hold on. So I work at an airport. I have heard a pilot talk and he's convinced me now that the earth is flat and I'm worried about losing my burger flipping job. If I've got that evidence, like I said before, I would be worth millions. I would be changing the world or, or the pizza or whatever you want to call it. I don't think I'd be worried about um, a half-assed little cheap job. Not really. That's it. That's the end of the message. So basically what this person was saying is that after eight years working in the private airport, everybody knows, all the pilots know, between them they can talk because they're there. Just like, for example, if you and I, we would work in a hotel, we could talk about all the secrets of the hotel industry or something like that. Or if you're working in any other place, like if you're lawyers or architects or customer service or whatever but these guys they work in hotel in private airports right and all the pilots all the people there know but they cannot say a thing because they would lose their jobs and that's a fact it's a fact if it's a fact produce the evidence because if someone has lost their job because they have talked where are they put them on camera Put them in front of a court. Hey, if it was me, I would be suing the airport's ass. They sacked me because I told the truth. If you say something like this regarding the curvature of the earth, which everybody knows that it doesn't exist as a pilot. Um... Everybody does not know that curvature doesn't exist because curvature does exist. It may be everyone among, amongst your little group of um, flurfers and conspirators. I don't know, all 17 of you, or whatever it is. But there's four and a half billion or seven billion or God knows how many billion nowadays people on this earth. And I would suspect that 99.9999999% of them, maybe more, know that the earth is a sphere. They don't buy into your, 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 your flattered crap. Or if you dare to mention that there's flights with chemtrails, that spray chemicals into the sky, you're gonna get uh, uh, like a, a, a meeting with the doctor, with the company's doctor. They're gonna just they're just gonna send you to any doctor, like a psychiatrist or something. They're gonna make like some tests, and they're gonna say you're not suited for work. Uh, so now, as well as the threat of losing my job, if I talk about the Earth not being flat, if I mention chemtrails, I'm going to be <laughs> have to justify myself to some psychiatrist, I presume, with the threat of being locked up. How many people um, are being locked up for this? I suspect that the majority of people who are in some form of mental, either, either a mental institution or under mental care with regard to chemtrails, would be there anyway. People who are unfortunate and have some issues. Come on, you've got uh, one and a quarter minutes left. Maybe you can still shock us with some confirmation of all this. They're going to take your flight license away or they're just going to 
uh, you know, if you're not a pilot, you're just going to say, thank you very much for your services, but we do not need uh, useless people for our company, and you're going to get fired. Obviously oh, hold on, I'm useless if I don't buy into all this crap. But I might be brilliant at flipping burgers. I might be the, the, the best car park attendant of ever. But because I don't, because I, <laughs> honestly, I don't even know what to say. You, you are, you are of the highest level of dumb. One of the highest. Go on. Obviously for a person, for, a, in, for an individual, after you make so many sacrifices and you pay, uh, you know, studying for, to be a pilot is not an easy job. Um, and also you have to spend lots of money as well. So after so many sacrifices of time and financial resources and stuff like that, obviously you do not wish to do that. So my respect for all the pilots and all the people who work in airports who know the truth. And of course, I do respect their decision for not saying anything because this world we live in is not a just world. And I suspect that the reason you don't hear lots of pilots um, breaking ranks and telling us the earth is flat is because they're actually pretty intelligent people. They have to be. They have worked hard. They have studied. They have sacrificed and paid a lot of money to train. These are not your average flat earth people. These are intelligent people. They know that the earth is a globe. Have you got any more in these last few seconds? Because we're still waiting for this confirmation. You said you got confirmation. And the, in, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights is not respected. <laughs> well, where did that come from? Can you show us someone who's been locked up for something like this? Can you show us someone who's been beaten and tortured because they believe the earth is flat? Because they've... Oh, God. I, I'm so sorry I came across your channel again. Still, last little bit. Even though it should be, but it's not. So, uh, yeah, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. This is not something invented. Cross my, I'm not even sure how to do this. I assure you this is something I received in my Facebook page, um, a private message, of course, and it was awesome. Thank you very much for that individual who just shared this with me. And uh, I'm sure it was a real message to your Facebook page. I'm sure. I'm not doubting you for one moment. There are people out there who believe all sorts of strange things, aren't there? Anyway, I think that's about it for today. I'm going to go back to full size. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope not to come across him again. He's very tiring and he obviously believes any old crap. Just a, a, some random email from a stranger who says that he used to work in an airport in Spain and he's heard pilots talk and suddenly that's confirmation of the flat earth. I think that you need to raise the bar for your evidence, Mr. Truth or whatever the hell you were called. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm so glad you've all joined me. Please subscribe. Just click the little icon down in the corner and don't forget to hit the notification bell. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Until next time, stay sensible. Shut up and sit down.